have this little building off to the right. This has been added on. That tin's been added on. My dad had the gym built as part of a big project. It looks a lot the same the gym does. Um, this little walkway between the gym and the school was not in existence. The building that's straight ahead of the playground was not here. Um, now, this original building was here. And it looks, actually the windows look pretty much the same. I'm assuming they've had to replace them. And we could look straight out and see Totem Park like we do there. Yeah, my kid can talk sports and teams forever. <laughs> Bless his heart. So we must have seen a little bit of recess. Mm -hmm. this, we did have like an old rustic swing set and there was some like parallel bars and monkey bars. Um, oh wow, this is this, all that soft tire stuff you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, this is all gravel. My dad was going to try to plant grass, and this is where he had us set. All the kids, you know, they got a, one carnival ticket per bucket of rocks or something like that. <laughs> and the home plate used to be there. Um, a good view of Totem Park for in here. Mm -hmm. mm. Rotating around. So there's that addition. It's all completely new. Up here, which was the school, all looks very much alike. I resist the temptation to go and peek through the windows. <laughs> that might become kind of odd. Today, because apparently he's gone tomorrow. Okay. Um, so, and all those totem poles you see up there, he said those were exact replicas of the originals, which have where they were disintegrating, oh. and they had completely fallen apart. And so John Rowan painstakingly copied each one of them. He wow. carved every single totem pole up there. Oh, that's incredible. Uh, and then the ones that were originally there, I guess he has out laying by his uh, shop. But coming down like the second grade and first grade classrooms are on the left. The library used to be right down here. And then, wow, these rooms the look a lot. library was here. Um, and then you would go outside and when you went outside, you'd go through these doors, and that was it. You were outside. Um, so, remarkable. But yeah, this is the hallway that I roamed up and down, and really the structure and everything is exactly the same. Um, hi there. Better. That looks a lot like the old room, so. It's interesting though, there's a little bit of the same vibe even with all the chain. Wow, so my dad's office would have been in there, I think. I think that's where it would have been. I don't think they had a staff restroom then. This staff restroom here, I think used to be the art closet maybe. Um, Looking back at it, art closet, and then, let's see. So, yeah, this used to be like the admin office. I think this used to be my dad's office. Oh, really? Well, it still fits us. The principal's office is still here. But this is tree is wasn't there. Is that tree beautiful? That's a gorgeous tree. Can I, can I take it? Yeah, that's completely new. I think. Yeah, we were parked over that way. This is the, this is where a long time ago we would have landed when we came in on the float plane. It would have landed and pulled into that dock there. Um, this is my office here. Wow. So I, can, I, have, I have a fishing boat there, so. So you look out. You, yeah, no, that's, that's one where you, yeah, I imagine so. So this is the school, this is all completely new. 
And then looking back this way, I'm gonna show you this, Mom. Um, that's where Gene Davis's office would have been. And there's like. Uh, Who's in charge here? What's she doing? What's she doing? Yeah, she's very friendly, isn't she? Hopefully Riley's off. Taking all kinds of pictures for Graham. Now that car in her office would be for Gene Davis and then my dad would be just right over. But all these trees around here are just so, so different. Um, Cause the big field that opened up, it's all overgrown. Yeah. Look back this way, that's the superintendent. Yeah, we're gonna go find Riley. Um, These are really good steps made for slippery times. So then, wow, so the school comes up this far. No trespassing. So this is really new here. Um, Wow, so they got it locked, which makes sense. Um, so I'm trying to see how do we get around to the playground. It used to be you just walk out the back here, you go to Totem Park or you go to the playground. Um, this is where the library used to be. Mm. This is new. The ground is so lush, isn't it? Yeah, it's so soft. And, hmm, soft and spongy. Okay, so this opens up. So it's a covered area. This is where we used to have our kickball and softball games all out in this area here. Um, Yeah, I mean, you, would, you could look out the windows and see the totem park. Mm. Now, we had a pretty primitive playground. Um, and this was actually smart to put this in, given all the rain. Um, you know, mm -hmm. And this is the original gym that my dad had built. He got a grant money for it. Wow. Um, wonder. Hey there. Hey. And it looks like not a lot of change. Must be volleyball practice. Uh, on one of the tapes that we listened to, mm -hmm. he talks about these uh, goals that they had have this covering here. So if it was raining, you had to run out. But this was actually a good idea too, to put this covering on. But this building, Riley, is still a lot the same. Not too many changes. Yeah, and then see the playground wasn't there uh -huh. and you could sit down here in your class and you could look up towards Totem Park. Uh, the gym's absolutely beautiful. The floor's been redone, it looks like. Um, it's yeah, nice. Yeah, we redo it every year. Uh, yeah, the, so probably they built this, so <laughs> when they built this originally, which your dad is part of. Right, it. right. Was, uh, this was an old log dump. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, over the years, this thing was settling. This side was sloughing off. And so we oh. had, I think, a 13-inch difference from that. No kidding. Yeah. That's big. So that's that's a lot. Have, you put a ball out there, and they'd all end up. Wow, wow. Yeah. So, so you had to. I love it. I mean, yeah, my whole life is gone. I mean, I, I grew up in Bethel. I 
graduated with in Peterson was I had the biggest graduating class in our school's history, and that was one full of <laughs> It puts everything in perspective, doesn't yeah, it? And I really enjoy the small school setting. You've got to really count on who you have and hope they make it and don't.